Hello and welcome to episode 16 of the No Code series. You join us as we're configuring the portal. So in the last episode we had just configured the basics of spinning up a portal. We want to go into depth now into trying to configure that landing page to have a little bit more um, interesting things on there. So it could be just adding a few more components to our page, maybe chopping and changing a little bit to help us out. As you can see, Chuck is still sleeping. Um, it's going to be a while before he wakes up this morning. So just before I start the timer, I just want to kind of talk to what I'm going to try and achieve on this landing page. So obviously the basics here that we can see is very basic um, with, you know, a general greeting, we have a general title, a search box and not too much more. So the things I'm going to aim to achieve on this home page and we can we can adjust this further down the line if we want to kind of make this a bit more pretty. But I want to adjust, first of all, the kind of colors that we're seeing here. Maybe we want a different color scheme or background. So I'm going to change this kind of, you know, uh, blue color. Should we just call it blue? Yes. Um, uh, to maybe like a green. Let's go for a green. And we want to maybe change the text colors, text sizes, where it is on the page. Everything's kind of to the left, you know, aligned to the left. So maybe we want to have it a bit more central. I want to get rid of the search bar because I don't think that's going to be particularly useful in our case. And what I do want to add in is something additional is a few buttons, which is going to take us to three different things. One, which would be like a requesting a holiday booking. Um, maybe there's a better wordage for that. Um, second thing, which is to be able to view your holiday requests. And third thing, which would be to view your holiday schedule, which will show maybe how many holiday days you've got left um, and what holidays you've got coming up, perhaps. So that's as far as we're going to go in this video. Um, hopefully we can get through all of that. If not, we will delve into it in the next video as well. So let's start the timer and see how we go. OK, and we're off. Right, first of all is I want to change this background colour. So to give you a bit of an idea with the, the you know, the containers on the on the form here, uh, I say form, it's on the, uh, you know, the portal UI, is we have two main containers, which is the top one, which is row one, and we've also got another one down here for, for just container one, um, which I may look to remove as well, to be honest with you. But the one that I want to change here is actually the top section. It's currently in this kind of horrible blue. Um, I want to change it to uh, being a bit more green. So let's open up the configuration panel here and see if we can find out where to do that. Now for this particular container for row one, we've got different things. We've got the config where we can select what type of container this is. This is where you kind of select whether it's a flex or grid. This one is flex. Um, I won't go into too much detail because we've only got four minutes left in terms of what the differences are between those. Um, but we will find out as we go through different alignment sections. And we've also got background. So I'm going to change the background here to a green style. Let's go for kind of a medium green. Do we like that? That's OK. So it hasn't changed the whole thing here, which is interesting. It has only changed that um, kind of top section so clearly there is something else which is setting um, the entire page and I believe it's what's under this button which is like a, a, an image um, but we won't go deeper into that at the moment next is I want to start looking at these um, uh, the, the kind of text colors on here um, so if we try and find these on the content panel on the left hand side here, one thing that's really annoying is you've got containers within containers, containers, you've got grid and then flex and then flex and then grid and then grid and then flex, flex, grid. And it's get, oh, so complicated. Why make it this complicated? I understand that all these things are in place to just have constraints about where they are on the form and how it will stretch out. But let's, um, um, the mouse has gone to sleep. Right. You've been speaking to Chuck. Right. Let's just find these headings. Right, here we are. So we've got the headings for Hello and Emily. Um, I'm happy with the sizing of those. So we could obviously change the sizing of those. Um, where can we change the text colors? Because at the moment, um, these are of style 
had a secondary, so no doubt it's been it's got it's taken the CSS elsewhere. So all we can do really here is just change the style, um, which will just change the sizing of these. Um, so that's slightly annoying there, and then and the label. So doesn't look like we've got too many options in here. No, only sizing, margin, padding, border, shadow. Um, we do have a button down here to view and edit the CSS, which looks again. Do you really want your no coders going through and doing that? Probably not. Okay, do you know what? I like the grey. <laughs> Let's continue with that. Um, right, so the next thing I want to do really, I'm happy with this Hello Emily. I wanted to add the avatar to it actually. Hello Emily, and maybe before it we can just have her avatar. We might, um, we might do something to have it above or somewhere else, but let's just see um, what we got here. So we got, we do have an avatar selection here. Um, why is it coming up JD instead of Emily? I do not know. Oh, for John Doe, of course it is. Um, so surely we would need to tie this into the current uh, user. Um, so there may be some configuration we need to do here. We can configure the size. Uh, small, large. Ooh. Yeah, let's go large. Um, username. So this is where it's going to get interesting. So if I start ty typing something like Emily Johnson, so I'm just going to change it to EJ. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, right. So if I have to tie this into something contextual, I believe you start it with um, at. So these are the different kind of elements we can get to to make it a bit more dynamic. Um, again, is your low, low code users going to know this? I don't know. And at this stage, I'm kind of guessing because I've seen it on the first name about Emily. So um, session user avatar kind of makes sense. So hopefully that will once we preview this and we've run out of time so we will just kind of leave it at this point um, and I don't know if we need to do this image source rather than uh, username but let's see let's just save that and if we just click on open there will it just open and show our avatar no we just got E <laughs> okay so let's just um, change avatar here to the actual username shall we uh, username username and then image source if we were to go to use context dot session dot user dot avatar hey there we go so we do now have a lovely picture of uh Emily Blunt with uh, hello Emily next to it and um, if we just give us a little refresh to just preview our portal I haven't done too much in this particular episode we've just set a color um, interestingly the blue color isn't appearing so it looks like it has adjusted so compared to the preview where we did see the little blue strip underneath that didn't we um, we're not seeing that so clearly this background color is taken into effect which is good um, so we've got a new um, we've got a new uh, avatar widget component. We should call them components now, shouldn't we? Not widgets. It's not the SP portal. We've kept the the hello Emily. Maybe we'll look to try to change how this uh, looks and feels a little bit. So, um, I mean, we do have the avatar up there. So why do we need it down here? I don't know. But maybe we can just move this up a bit and then just have hello Emily underneath it, perhaps. And Maybe we want this um, title here to be more centralized and then we can get rid of the search bar. So let's do that in the next episode. Join us for that.